Okay, uh, hi, okay, good morning. Uh. Okay, so the main topic for the today's uh, presentation is uh, where are we going for sure, right? Because a lot of the stats, right, technical and fundamentals, they are not exactly working out really well. Okay, so these are confusing times uh, for SPY or the market in general. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the technically okay so technically we are still this downward channel right but then there are some signs that you know the low the higher lows uh, there's being formed is kind of suggesting a breakout here okay and uh am i do i believe that there's going to be a breakout i don't know right i don't know until uh there will be a confirmation uh, here 4002 there then they're going to see the breakout okay it could be a fake breakout then come back also we don't know now uh i already said uh, the previous times the stock market is not exactly very expensive now uh, based on the pe okay mm, it's medium price okay so what's the problem now okay so there are a few problems uh, with the market fundamentally right uh, we are in boomflation because M2 is very high. Basically, we are in boomflation because of stimulus. Okay. Uh, we are 4 trillion extra uh, money in uh, M2, right? So, the stimulus made the whole thing a bit messy, right? And if you talk about recession, it's based on 2021, right? They use year-on-year -year comparison. And the problem with year-on-year -year comparison... 2021 was like a fully uh, steroids we take steroids to the stimulus a lot of stimulus was pumped in and after that we are still feeling the effects of the steroids definitely yeah so we are still feeling the steroids effect right uh the unemployment rate is going down very very low uh well how do i say this uh everything looks good and employment rate employment uh, statistics looks amazing okay that's why the feds can confidently say hey, we are not in a recession okay we're not in a recession okay and i do believe them because uh let's not be political about this okay 2021 was a fully steroided up here it's gonna be messy if you follow something you know you know what i mean right if you follow something like wow so much stimulus and all that okay and they are basing recession based on the 2021 GDP figures. So it doesn't seem, to me, it doesn't seem a bit, how do I say this? Uh, doesn't seem fair. Okay. Now, although we are not in a recession, so everything is good, everything is amazing, right? Okay, not, 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 it's not really amazing, right? Okay, that's why the market dropped. Okay, the market dropped because of, uh, recession, uh, not recession, uh, inflation. Okay, so we are not in a recession. Uh, I, I stress again. Uh, okay, we are not in a recession now. The problem is because of inflation. Inflation uh, reduces earnings uh, eventually, right? But those that can raise prices, they might benefit from it, lah. Uh, obviously, right? Okay, but in real terms, they actually don't benefit uh, from inflation. But they can raise prices, and the market can absorb. Yeah. Now, the Fed wasn't happy about the inflation, so they decided to uh, go on a QT. They're going to take away all that uh, vehicles that are running around in the uh, the streets, right? The vehicles, right? Cars, okay? They're going to take them away, okay? This is in a metaphorical sense. Huh? M2 money supplies those vehicles. Those vehicles are looking for parking now, looking for parking in the stock market, looking for parking in the bonds market, looking for parking in the emerging market, looking for parking in the whatever shit, okay? Basically, they are money, they are M2, those, those, those vehicles, they look for stuff. The more vehicles are there, the more expensive the parking fees are, okay? That's, this is not rocket science, okay? Supply and demand, uh, micro, micro economy, okay? So they look for parking spaces. So these vehicles are money. They look for parking spaces. Parking spaces are investments that bring yield, right? Or assets, right? Property, uh, what else? 
uh, shares, stocks, rates, bonds, treasuries, emerging market, whatever shit there is. Okay. Now. M2 is still high. Okay. M2 is still high. So the market won't definitely won't it won't be killing that hard because they can't feel the effect because M2 is still high. It's still 21.6 when it's supposed to be 17. Okay. So they're gonna reduce it somewhat about 18 to 18.5. Okay. So they still need to reduce this. They say they want to reduce this, but it's not exactly working, right? Okay, it's not really working. It's still 21.65 trillion in the market from a peak of 21.8 trillion. Okay, so they still need to do more. It's not feeling the effect at all. Okay. I mean, this is not working. Okay. So what the Fed decided to do is they're talking about this. But we gotta sell direct to the market. We can't just let the treasuries expire and wait for the treasury department to issue those treasuries to take away the money from the market. It's gonna take us a long time and by that time everything will be fucked up. Right? So we gotta do something really fast. Okay? So they are going to sell direct into the market and it's going to cause problems. Okay? So why is the market uh, why is fundamentally this is a bad thing okay now it depends on how how much money are you going to take away from the market that's the question that we're going to ask okay and how long are you going to take it to take away that money okay because if you keep taking away the money right what happened to the the stock market value will go down you know asset values will go down right ta, 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 ta. and you they are not going to they're gonna do about 1.1 trillion a year so 1.1 trillion this year 1.1 trillion another year 1.1 so for three years uh, the stock market will not move anywhere it may even go down okay it may even go down right because when you take away money from the market right less money out there people got less money people become poorer earnings for the thing will go down you know the earnings will go down Okay, when there is no money, you know, earnings will go down. This is not rocket science again. Uh. Okay, so earnings will go down when there's no money in the market, right? So people are now scared about the earnings. Okay, so, uh, yes, okay, but if you are, okay, again, if you are too scared, you're going to miss out a lot of rallies in the stock market. Okay, so I go, okay. So cyclicality of stimulus, okay, will 2023-24 earnings for the SPY be good or not? Okay, they believe it's going to decline. Okay, the PE ratio, the E part, the earnings is going to decline. That's what they are scared about. It's going to push the PE ratio up. Okay, although for this year, the stock market is not exactly showing any revenue declines. Still good. Earnings still good, right? for the top guys earnings still amazing uh, yeah okay except for uh, I think Meta wasn't performing that well only Meta the rest was performing good okay so yes okay mar but margins did got affected and earnings some of some of the earnings dropped because of the margin the, the margins actually dropped because of inflation the operating expense go up so it's very confusing all this noise uh, Especially when we try to predict the market, uh, where it's going to go. I think the best thing uh, for us to do, right, is just two things. Very simple, right? Uh, we don't, uh, we, st we go back to basics, right? What's the basic? Valuations, right? Uh, we just go valuations and we buy when the market is cheap and we don't buy when the market is not cheap. I mean, that's it, man, right? This is not even uh, rocket science. Uh. So I take the point where the peaks uh, intersect the most. Okay. And I do believe. Uh, uh, 
any point we are not exactly super expensive now okay but if we want to become uh, if we want to buy stuff uh, cheaper we want to buy we want to buy cheaper stuff uh, the thing we can do is we plot a trend line take the peaks we plot the trend line more or less something that hits almost all the most points and the, the peak side uh, one two three so give or take uh, this seems okay I guess it's hitting a lot of peaks and I believe uh, price somewhere of S&P 500 below uh, 390 okay which the, they would be buying uh, SPY at 390 or below would be probably the safer option okay mm. it's a safer option because if the Fed actually does decide uh, to do the QT seriously okay uh we the rate of change will be go will go back to where it was basically before okay the rate of change will go back to where it was before and uh we're gonna gonna trade about this uh, around this region okay that's it it's not rocket science again okay so fundamentally i believe that uh yeah okay fundamentally that's what i believe Okay. That's it. It's not rocket science. Uh, we don't need to be worrying so much. Lah. Okay. That'll be all for today. Thank you very much, guys.